as we've been covering throughout the morning, we saw a big day, day in primary elections yesterday in Florida, New York, and an important runoff primary in Oklahoma for senator. This is the GOP attempts to keep riding a wave of success all the way to November midterms. Joining us now is President for Citizens United and 2016 Deputy Campaign Manager David Bossy. David, welcome back to Wake Up America. Uh, thanks for having me back. Of course. All right, let's talk about New York first. Democrat Pat Ryan won the special election for the state's 19th congressional district. Uh, a little bit of a surprise there, and he was running on abortion, which is something that a lot of the candidates pretty much stayed away from. They focus on kitchen table issues. It's what Republicans have been focusing on. What do you think this means for other states, you know, looking as they start to campaign for, for their midterms, abortion could be an issue that people vote on. Yes? No? It, it certainly uh, it could be, uh, and it, it's a motivator for both bases. Uh, New York's obviously very tough uh, for Republicans anyway. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in the race, but it's not a telltale sign for November. Uh, you know, you look at what happened around the country again yesterday in these primaries, and great candidates uh, are coming out. And we're going to win uh, the House back in, in November. It's just a matter of what the majority is. Mm -hmm. uh, so so I am disappointed in that race, to your question. But but I don't know if it was any one issue. Uh, it, it, obviously, it was his turnout machine. It was very, very close. It, it, yeah. 100 votes. And so I think his turnout machine and, and, and motivation in that particular district in a very liberal state uh, was was just better. Yeah, absolutely. I, I want to talk about now Oklahoma. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen run, won the runoff primary election for Senate. Oklahoma hasn't elected a Democratic senator in over 30 years, and it's believed whoever won the GOP primary would likely be the winner in the midterm. What are your thoughts on this race? I couldn't agree more. Uh, Mark Wayne Mullen is on his way to the United States Senate now. Uh, T.W. Shannon was a high-quality, outstanding candidate. Uh, but Mark Wayne Mullen uh, got President Trump's endorsement and carried uh, the state overwhelmingly uh, in, a, in, a, in a state that overwhelmingly supports President Trump back in 2016 and in 2020. So it's a, it's a, it's a very good uh, Senate seat for us to hold with, that, with, with a high-quality candidate. Yeah, you just were talking about the Trump endorsement, that impact. The former president, he's claimed he went 26-0 in this week's results. How does this reflect on his impact, especially after the mar largo raid? I wonder if after this raid, it's actually had more of an impact on the folks that he, who he's endorsed. You know, it, it, the, the mar largo raid, I think, woke up the uh, Republican base. Mm. We, we got it a little complacent, I believe, and, and getting... A kick in the pants, uh, you know, in the summertime, I think, gets us ready for the next 10 weeks uh, before the midterms. Uh, because complacency kills when it comes to turnout. And you, it, just as we were talking about that New York race a moment ago. Yeah. So I think that, uh, it, that the Mar-a-Lago raid has energized the American people again against this Biden White House who oversees this incredibly politicized Justice Department and FBI, who only want to destroy uh, President Trump at all costs. So I yeah. think we're, we're, we're getting closer uh, to the end of that once the midterms come, come and go. Yeah, it's, it's, you mentioned the midterms. It's in November. It seems so far away. But then you said 10 weeks. That doesn't seem like a long time at all. We're going to see campaign in full swing over the next couple of months. David Bossy, thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course.